Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson, and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about azathioprine for the treatment of rheumatic disease. You can visit our website, www.rheuminfo.com, and print off one of our azathioprine picto pamphlets to follow along with this video. Azathioprine is also known as Imurin. Azathioprine is taken once a day. Now, the dose is based on your body weight, and your doctor will tell you the right dose for you. A usual dose is between 50 and 200 milligrams a day. Now, it'll take about six to eight weeks for azathioprine to work, so you'll need to be patient. There are three things you need to do when taking azathioprine. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, it's important to get regular blood tests every four to eight weeks while taking azathioprine. This is to make sure the medication isn't harming your liver or blood counts. Second, drinking alcohol while taking azathioprine could harm your liver. It's best to avoid alcohol. And finally, azathioprine can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. It's best to stop taking azathioprine if you have a fever or think you have an infection. Now, some people feel unwell with nausea or diarrhea when they take azathioprine. Azathioprine can also cause a rash or thinning of the hair. Although azathioprine hasn't been properly studied in pregnancy, many women have had successful pregnancies while taking it through their pregnancy. However, let your doctor know if you are pregnant or planning pregnancy. Finally, when used for long periods of time, azathioprine may be associated with a small increased risk of skin or blood cancers. You can discuss this with your doctor. If you're taking azathioprine, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop. If you're concerned about any side effects or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason at all. Now for azathioprine, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you develop nausea or diarrhea. If you have a fever or think you have an infection. If you develop a rash. If you develop stomach pain or notice yellowing of the skin. If you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant or if you're planning any surgery. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.